In this video, I'm going to be ranking every single hero card from worst all the way to best in NBA 2K23, my team. Now that the hero collections are done for the Dark Matter Hero Lock in Ched and the Dark Matter Hero Lock in Manute Bull, I'll be ranking every single hero card in this video, all 27 cards from worst all the way to best in NBA 2K23, my team. But let me know in the comment section down below between all 27, uh, 27 of these cards, which one is your favorite to use and which one do you guys think is the best from all 27 of these cards. But at the number 27 spot i think you got to go with the pink diamond speedy klaxon only a five foot eleven point guard six foot two wingspan don't really even have to check out his stats and his badges he's just super undersized for that point guard position at number 26 going to be similar to klaxon i mean pool is six foot four so he's got a little bit more more size at the point guard position but he's still not going to be that great on the offensive end defensively also going to be a liability might be a fun card to be using in game but realistically don't think he's going to be too great at the number 25 spot is going to be the pink diamond george mirson yes he's a giant he's seven foot seven seven foot eleven wings Span. he can mash on every single possession and be an unstoppable force it's the fact that he's got 25 speed 25 acceleration that i do think pretty much makes him unusable in game at the number 24 spot though is going to be the opal demarcus cousins i would say our first card that's, that's actually like somewhat usable in game i really don't think you know speedy claxton pool or, or um george mirson are really that usable in game but at number 24, I do think DeMarcus Cousins is going to be a very usable power forward in my team. He's got great size for the power forward position, good wingspan, player model. He can knock down threes. He can play make a little bit, has really good strength and, and athleticism stats. I think all around DeMarcus Cousins, the 24th best hero card currently in the game. At the number 23 spot is going to be Robert Williams, a very elite defender, six foot eight at the small four position and pretty much has perfect defensive stats and badges offensively. Not the best in the world, but he really gets the job done on the defensive end. At the number 22 spot is going to be the Dark Matter Paul George. It kind of seems a little bit crazy that he's this low. Like number 22, you know, that means there's 21 better cards from the hero set. I think there's just so many good cards, you know, from the heroes in season six. Like, yeah, Paul George does play pretty good defense. You know, he can drive to the basket. He can defend pretty much most positions, like the one through three, maybe even the four if you match up against a smaller power forward. But like, his jump shot is just questionable his dribble sigs really aren't the best so i do think he's the 22nd best hero card number 21 though is going to be kevin durant i think you got to have these cards next to each other they're very similar where their jump shots really aren't the best and their dribble sigs really aren't the best either but they do have great all-around stats and badges like they got 40 hoffs and pretty much perfect stats just need a new jump shot and new dribble sigs at the number i think 20 spot or is it 21 I think it's 20. I think at number 20 is going to be Pink Diamond Xavier McDaniel. He's going to be a small forward power forward, six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan. Crazy enough, but his stats are actually very similar to a card like Kevin Durant at the small four position, and he's also got that size to play the three, but then his jump shot I do think is a little bit better than Kevin Durant's, but he's got way, way, way better dribble sigs with the Steph Curry size up, the tray escape, you know, hardened behind the back, he's got the quick drops off one and the front clutches as well. So even though KD might be a more fun card to be using in game, I do think Xavier McDaniel is going to be slightly better at the number 20 spot. At number 19 is going to be Pink Diamond. Mo Bamba a great center power forward card seven foot with a seven foot ten wingspan he's going to give you elite level defense 96 block 95 interior defense 90 steel 88 perimeter he's got some really good hall of fame defensive badges for a pink diamond including hall of fame anchor box obese brick wall chase on artist clamps pogo stick post lockdown rebound chaser and then he's also super athletic with 92 speed and 92 acceleration at the number 18 spot is going to be the galaxy bull tony kukoc i do think he's a great all-around small forward being six foot ten with a seven foot two wingspan like his stats are really good like really well rounded you know has a high three ball really good hall of fame shooting badges this jump shot though is a little bit questionable i will say but then he does have elite level dribble six the garland size up the tray escape he's got the tray fade dame behind the back quick drops off one you know front clutches he's got all around great animations just really needs a new updated and a lot faster of a jump shot at the number 17 spot though i do have the dark matter Joel Embiid. even though he's not like some crazy overpowered glitchy power forward i still think he does his job at an extremely high level you know being seven foot at the power four position seven foot five wingspan 
He plays good defense. He's a super athletic car with 90, uh, 98 strength, 97 vertical, 93 speed, 93 acceleration. Just kind of like Paul George, Kevin Durant does need a new and updated jump shot with it being a little bit slow and a little bit baited. At the number 16 spot though, very similar to Joel B. going to have great stats and badges. And that's going to be the Dark Matter Penny Hardaway. 40 Hoffs, really good stats. He's actually got amazing triple six with the Penny Hardaway size up, which is extremely good for getting downhill. Like you get a really good burst of speed to go towards the basket and then he also does have the tray escape it's just his jump shot it's just a little bit baited and a little bit slow very easy to contest and makes it hard to get threes up with this card so i do think he's going to be the 16th best hero card currently in my team at the number 15 spot though i do have the galaxy Simple sabonis not the biggest fan of this card because of his jump shot but he's still seven foot three at the center position seven foot six wingspan that i think you gotta have him somewhere in your top 15 i know a lot of people would probably have him a little bit higher i just don't like the fact that he's got low speed and his jump shot is super slow in my opinion I know a lot of people might be able to time it and might actually like his jump shot, but for me personally, I just don't really like his release. At the number 14 spot, though, I do have the Galaxy Bull Kyle Kuzma. Talking about a good release, this is going to be the perfect example in Kuzma. Six foot nine small forward, seven foot wingspan, has an elite level jump shot. So I do think that's a big reason why he's up here at number 14 because of his uh, because of his release. And then he also does have great dribble sigs with the Kyle Lowry size up in the tray escape. Also having the name behind the back and pretty good, uh, pretty good dunk packages. So I do think he's the 14th best here, uh, 14th best hero card in my team at number 13 is going to be dark minor jr smith the henny god is a good scorer like he can definitely score and he's a bucket on the offensive end at number 13 six foot six point guard six foot ten wingspan you know he's a dark matter so great all-around stats he's got every single hall of fame shooting badge actually has really good hall of fame defensive badges his jump shot I think could be a lot better. It's not terrible of a release, but I definitely think it could be a bit better. He does have elite dribble six though with the D Mitch size up, the Trey Trey Young escape, Dan behind the back. He's got the quick jumps off one. He's got the front clutches. Really just wish he had a better jump shot. At number 12, I think you have to have Monte Ginobili and Jarrett Smith very close to each other. I think they're very similar point guard cards. I just think Manu does have a better release, and that's why he's going to be at number 12, and JR is going to be at number 13, just because I think he's got slightly better dribble sigs and also a decent amount better jump shot. At number 11, though, is going to be the Galaxy Simple Hedo Turkaloo, a 6'10 point guard with a 6'11 wingspan, and he does have an elite level jump shot with the John Stockton base, Trey Young upper on very quick timing. You guys probably know by now why Hedo Turkaloo is still one of the best point guards in my team you know for his hero version because of his jump shot you know six foot ten at the one i think he comes in at number 11 breaking into my top 10 though is going to be galaxy bull thorough bailey a great six foot uh, six foot 11 small forward with a seven foot wingspan i do like his versatility on the defensive end being able to guard the one through four because he can guard most power forwards in the game because of uh, because of his athleticism his player models defensive animations and then they also gave thorough bailey a great jump shot with the tobias harris base the seti osman upper on very quick timing he's got the d mitch fade the curry size up the john ball escape so it does have very elite all around you know animations in the game at the number nine spot though is going to be the galaxy Bull brian scalabrini i mean just such a good small forward six foot nine six foot nine wingspan you know elite all around stats and badges but i would say the best thing about this card maybe is his jump shot because it's the exact same release as jonathan benders and it's a really good release on very quick timing but it might be his dribble six the fact that he's a six foot nine small forward he's got the steve francis size up the Trey Young escape which I think are the two best dribble sigs in the game and then he also he also has the quick drops off one he's got the front clutches he's got the perfect defensive tendencies he's got a 95 driving dunk tendency I mean the card all around is such a good small forward in game at the number eight spot though is going to be the dark matter Michael Jordan I still think he's a little bit better than Scalabrini and Thurl Bailey you know at his position because he's debatably a top three five point guard in the game he's six foot six six foot eleven wingspan you know, really good attacking the basket, 99 driving dunk. He's still super quick with 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 speed with ball, 94 ball handle. Like his stats are basically maxed out for pretty much everything. He's got 40 half badges. And then he also does have that KPJ base, which we all know is the best base in the game. And that's really going to carry his jump shot to being a very decent release. Wish he had a better upper, but still, I think MJ is the eighth best hero card right now on my team. At number seven, though, is going to be the Dark Matter Jokic card, a six foot 11 point guard seven foot three wingspan kind of crazy to say he's only at number seven 
That means there's six better cards in these hero sets than Nikola Jokic, who debatably is the best point guard in my team. He's got a great jump shot, really good dribble six, moves really well for a six foot 11 card. I just think at number six, I would take Tim Thomas a little bit over Jokic because I personally do think Tim Thomas is the best shooting guard in my team and one of the best offensive cards. And I do have Jokic right behind my number five guy who is going to be Dark Matter Ben Simmons. So if you wanted to swap out Ben and Jokic, like you wanted to put Ben at number seven and you wanted to put Jokic at number, um, yeah, uh, sorry, Jokic at number five. And if you wanted to put Ben at number seven, I think that's definitely fair to say. I just think because of Ben's defense, his size, his wingspan, his defensive animations, I think he's a little bit more valuable on the court. And he's also better getting to the basket. And slashing this year, if you guys don't know, is one of the best ways to score and just super overpowered is being able to get to the basket. At number four, I kind of already showed you guys, is actually going to be the Dark Matter Chet. One of the hero lock-ins is not going to be number two. You'd probably expect that he'd be the second best card from the hero sets because he's the second lock-in, but he's actually at number four he's still a really good small forward obviously probably the one you know one or two small forward in my team seven foot six wingspan we'll talk about that more here in a second but he's basically just like bull bull who's going to be at number three i personally think they're the exact same card i know some people say bull bull is better some people say chet is better i think they're basically the same card really just comes out of preference with their jump shots i will say chet does move a little bit quicker in game I personally like Bull Bull's release a little bit more, but very similar small forward cards in my opinion. And then for number two and one, I think it's also going to be very obvious. Yao Ming at number two, seven foot six at the center position, seven foot nine wingspan. So glitchy of a card with an amazing jump shot. But I do think Manute Bull is the best card in my team currently. A seven foot center or seven foot seven center who can also play the power four position, eight foot five wingspan, and one of the best player models in the game. He's just such an elite defender. He runs the floor super well, does have a very capable jump shot, very solid dribble sigs. He's just such an absolute glitch in my team. And I do think is going to be the best hero card right now in the game. But let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said earlier, who do you guys think is the best hero card in my team? Let me know what you guys think about my rankings, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.